fair, Diz was not playing great. I mean, he went to game five this time. IBDW is not having his best day. He's not having his I best day. I think he got fifth or seventh. He's not out. I thought he lost he's to JKJ. Losers. Or he beat JKJ. No, he beat JKJ. Oh, he came back and beat JKJ. He came JKJ. back. Yeah, he was wow. down I thought he came severely. over here to, I thought he came over here saying he lost. No, he came over here to say I should have lost, but then like I actually pulled my shit together and quit being a bitch and won. Wow. Yeah. All right, so uh, here we are. Some of the some of the best players in the building, or probably the two best players in the building. Um, and probably yeah. Who do you expect to win? I expect Diz to win. You do? It's I've been watching Diz a lot lately, cause, just because he's been around. Yeah. Um, and he's a great guy. I love Kyle. Oh my god, I love Kyle. Yeah, he's a he's a really cool guy. And recently, he hasn't been playing so great. The last few tournaments, really not good at all. Well, honestly. he just took a tournament over like Lucky. And he and just the took moon. Olympus. Yes. Yeah. And. I don't know if he got his shit together before Olympus, and that's why he took it, or if winning Olympus helped him get his shit together, but he is looking much better than he has in a very, very long time. Yep. Like, if you watch, like, Diz on his on his A game, like, he just gets wobbles out of everything. Everything. Uh, he pulls them out of his say, ass. It's crazy. I don't know. I don't even know what happened. He got another wobble. Oh, yeah. DJ's there was, not looking too happy. Against against Cody, there, oh, was, one, dropped there was one game where, um... So, he... he, he Played the previous game and, and won, and then Bachelor runs like a replay on this, and by the time the replay's over, it switches to the next game, and Cody's already grabbed and getting wobbled. <laughs> we didn't even get to see the setup just because it was so fast. That's funny. What's, what can you do here? Nice. The re-grab, yeah. Wow. Yeah, right? He gets them from any... He's at 61% on his first stock. He just gets them out of... Anything. Against anything. DJ Nintendo, he's been around for years and years. And right. Years. He knows what he's doing. He's exactly. It's not like it's matchup. not like these are like gimmicky setups. <laughs> like, like he gets them off of everything against everybody. And uh, and he just loses his first stock. But wow. <laughs> Talk about value, man. Oh yeah. That was that was really good. Are you a Magic player? No, I do play a little Hearthstone. Oh okay. Yeah. I know. That, that's a card game kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, Getting yeah, the yeah, value. value. <laughs> And it's funny because when I first started watching Diz, um, I think he was in Tri-State. This is when he first like started his career, or you right. know, first started getting on stream and stuff like that. Um, I was like, man, what a lame-o. <laughs> all, all I see him do is get wobbles. Right. Um, the more I learned about the game, the more I saw him. Also, after meeting him, yeah. Um, one of the coolest guys. <laughs> one so of the coolest cool. matches. <laughs> he's so great. Um, he, he's down to. I asked him a question. I'm like, who's your favorite matchup? What character's your favorite matchup? And uh, he stopped playing. We're playing friendlies, uh -huh. and he stops, and he he goes, huh? Um, and he talks for like three minutes, right? He, you know, he just has a conversation. He takes the time. He cares. Yeah. It's great. He's really he's an awesome guy. So after all that, I realized that um, he's not lame. He's a melee player. Yeah. Where he has a character. He's abusing his character. Oh yeah. That's every that's everybody. That's who everybody plays. Who, that's who's good. That's every fox player. Yeah. Well, there's there's the last stock. That's every falco player that abuses right. uh, his lasers, shine and lasers. Shine. That's every every shine spike that happens yeah, is like basically the same as a wobble. So people who complain about wobbles, you need to understand that I think it's kind of past the whole anti wobble. I think the anti wobble movement is kind of long gone. Yeah. I think there's still some people who think it's boring. Um, and like just, think it takes no skill and stuff, but usually those aren't the top level players. Yeah, yeah. You have to understand the amount of well, Smash is obviously a mental game, but yeah. wobbling is just so crazy. What it does to someone's psyche, you could see. Visibly, DJ Nintendo is reacting to it. Oh, Almost yeah. like the debates with uh, Trump and <laughs> Hillary, how, how how Trump was reacting to it. Not saying DJ Nintendo is equivalent to Trump. These guys are both Bernie Sanders in my eyes. But the point is, um, it sucks getting wobbled. It does. It you can't do. You literally can't act. You're just. I you're, think you know. I think the way to deal with that though, the like specifically that aspect of getting wobbled is instead of like. Like, thinking about the fact that you are getting killed right now and it's slow and painful. Think about what to think about, yeah, exactly, what happened. Yep. And honestly, very few people do that. It's weird. Like, they just sit there and get upset. Like, they don't really actually think about why they got... Like, if you ask them, like, what was the setup? They'll be like, I don't fucking know. I yeah. got grabbed. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it's crazy, because even though wobbling seems like it takes forever, it's really only, like, what, 15 seconds? Wow. Look yeah, at that wave actually. dash. Yeah. Um, it's only, what, like 15 seconds? So, mainly such a fast game that even when you have yeah. all this time, it's really not that much time. Right. So you need it every second. Second uh, uh, time is a resource, right? Yeah. So you have to be, you have to spend that time thinking, okay, why? What should I change up? What did he change up? Uh, pretty much reiterating what you said. I think you nailed it the first time. Um, but again, it just stinks. It uh, does. If you're an emotional player, 
Getting oh, wobbled yeah. when you, especially when you have the lead. Oh, oh man. God, it hurts. It's, it's really tough. And I think Diz's success comes from his, uh, you know, it is because his game is kind of centered around wobbles. Obviously, he's a good Sopo. He's not a, right, right. You know, he's a really smart player. He's a but great player. But I don't think player. there's anything wrong with the fact that his, his play style is centered on wobbles, you know? I, don't think, I, I agree. I, I think like that. Like, it is, yes. But, like, so? <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like saying a Fox player is, be, you know. Like, likes back air or whatever. Yeah, exactly. It's like, West Balls okay. likes his combos. Like, <laughs> Okay. Dude, I can't believe he combos all the time. <laughs> that was stupid. That was unfortunate. Yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> um, but actually, this is a tight game. This is this. DJ definitely stepped it up. Yeah, I want I want to talk about DJ. Um, I actually want to just pay attention to him because obviously there's so many foxes that sometimes you, it's hard to like pay up, attention dude? to what the fox is doing. What are you looking for? Water. Uh, we're out of water actually. Uh -oh. Sorry, I gave too much water to people. Like I gave some to Kyle. I gave some to Corey. I'm oh, sorry. Wow, that was a that was a pretty creative down smash. I don't know if you caught that down smash from DJ. Yeah, he caught him out of the side B. Oh, uh, with a down smash. Interesting. I and didn't it know works. it lined up like that. Yeah, and I, he's about to take the lead. It looks like. Yeah, so that was. Um, I mean, it was from an SD, but I think DJ is sort of. You, you still know, take it where you can ooh, get it. Oh my Randall. goodness. Nice. Just very. Sometimes you know you don't always want to approach it in the air, but sometimes just nair him. You know. Just yeah. Go in there, do it. And this is a really good opportunity for DJ. They're split up, still split up. I think one of the big differences DJ nice. has, has Woo, made in his play style. Wow, what a save. Yeah, that was really important. Uh, it's really hard to take two stocks of Sopo. So. Oh, God, yeah. You know, um, it, it's uh, That was a risky move from Diz to save. Uh, to save nah, actually, that's Popo, funny enough. Nana is this is uh right right he yeah. likes to, he likes to play the reverse color yeah. he, I love it he's so wow. neutral with how he, he talks about them he says like he always says your backup climber backup you know climber. he never says Popo or Nana he says your main climber your backup hey, climber Gender he's just neutral. so conscious I love it <laughs> he's so conscious <laughs> oh DJ oh Diz you're so conscious <laughs> <laughs> oh I like that down tilt Ooh. and that's a, that's one of DJ Nintendo's strengths I think. Um, He's just one of those foxes that does every single move that exists. I was going to say, he uses every tool he's got. Every tool. Yeah. So against someone, you know, I, I mean, against ice climbers, uh, you know, sometimes down tilt's really good, sometimes up yeah. tilt's really good. And honestly, you never know. Like, when I, I played DJ Nintendo, I think, like, three or four times in tournament. Okay. I just don't know what he wants to do. <laughs> I really have no idea. Obviously, he wants to win. He wants to get combos, stuff like that. But I have no idea what he's going for. Are you guys trying to go? I like commentating. Oh no, are you guys trying to bounce? I'm not trying to bounce. You guys might go though? Are you going to Manus? Do mad people go to Manus? Anyway, 1-1 one, one, and... Commanding what, what, stock by DJ. What happened? Uh, he didn't let up. You, you've seen, I assume you've seen Hacks Nintendo. Yes. It looked a little bit like that first stock. DJ Nintendo looking like Hacks? Huh. Diz got 2% on DJ, and DJ was just blip blipping and drilling all over the place, separated the climbers, and just killed them. It was execution. Well, aren't that people going to Manus? Dude. Well, why can't we just hang out with everyone? I'll see you later. Uh, also, like my it. friend and Psycho, your. Uh, text psycho your <laughs> DJ really cleaned up his uh his entire play. Wow, look at he this. just He's quit giving Diz uh -oh. the openings like at all. Like there's just like very little Diz can do. He just quit giving him the chances. Yeah, DJ is looking really fresh right now. Oh, very fresh. I mean, 33 percent like. And it's just so funny, like, he does so many different things. All right, that yeah. was kind of expected, but um, just like, what, I don't know what he wants. I don't know what he does. And you know? it's very important versus Diz, too, because so many of his setups are on, all right, it's very likely he's going to do, like, something in this category of moves, and yeah, I've got this option or this setup that'll, yeah. that'll get me a capitalization off of this category. But yeah. Diz is so, I mean, DJ is so good at making it very unclear which one he's going for yeah. and going for the safe ones that... Diz isn't able to get those callouts. So last time he came down with that. Okay, so that was awesome. Uh, he came down with the side B. Well, first off, last game he did a down smash. This time 
This game he did an up smash and whiffed. Then the next time he came with a side B, he got a uh, uh, down tilt, and then he got an up smash. So he's just mixing up like how all these little micro situations. He's just doing so many different things. He's really doing well. I, I wanna I wanna see how Diz adapts. Um, and I think part of that is that Diz isn't really setting up his neutral. Yeah. Um, yeah DJ really just walked all over him. Um, so oftentimes you see Icy's going for like, you know, the blizzard and ice block walls. Uh, I don't know if it's that Diz needs to do that a little bit more because he hasn't been very much recently. Yeah. Or if it's that DJ's just not giving him the chance. Um, it might be that he thinks that DJ's not going to fall for it. I know D uh, Diz kind of likes to do it in the first, like, moments of the match. Right. Just throw it out there. It's kind of, you know, the, the, the words are still on the screen. So if a f blizzard's flying at you, it's hard yeah, to see. Yeah, yeah. Um, I wonder if he'll do it in the first game here. Also, where's, what do you think he's going to take him? Back to FD. I don't think that's the smart pick. I think DJ is using the space better than Diz can. But better than Ice Climbers can. Ooh. And I think that, honestly, a closer quarters... Map. Oh, oh my chill. goodness. That was like, awesome. Like, see what I mean? He pulls him out of anything. Yeah, that was anything. insane. That was honestly super cool. But, but uh, like, <laughs> I, think, I think something like Fountain of Dreams would have been better here. You know, with a little less yeah. horizontal space for DJ Nintendo to run away, you know? Um, yeah. I mean, maybe Diz sort of started adapting to DJ a little bit. Um, I mean, Maybe he feels like he, he understands something better now. Oh, so that that was an important grab. Um, it was the the fact that it was at zero. I think is what the uh, problem was, because you'll notice Diz does wait a lot I'll when smash. he gets a grab because he needs to. He feels like he needs to, but at zero, he just can't. Yeah. Wow. Oh, he's going back. Okay. Boy, he's he's overshot on that quite a few times now. <laughs> like, his wave dashes have been, like, a little bit too long or quick. Yeah. That's a, that's an interesting thing. Not really relevant, or not super relevant to uh, to this match necessarily, but um, lengths of wave dashes are super intricate. Um, yes. Oh, yes. And obviously it's important to have that full length wave dash. Um, but if you're, like, a, a Luigi player or an Ice Climbers player... Right, you've got to choose. Yeah, there's there's, like... Eight. I, I, there's a lot. Probably more than eight. Oh, there's way more than eight. <laughs> I, really, I mean, it's yeah. analog. I'm pretty sure that there's, like, you know, there's an insane bunch. amount. Yeah, there's a bunch. Uh, and it's important to, to be able to mix that up. At least between three or four. You know right, what I mean? Right, right. Um, like, 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 you need, like, oh. a small. You're going to need a medium. You're going to need, like, a larger. And then you're gonna wait dash in place. Uh, wait at dash least that's place. Fox or, or No, it's Falcon. very good. Yep. And he just, literally, he just grabbed him out of roll. That was a... That was a it's 2-1 you know. DJ, by the way. DJ's up 2-1. Yep. So there's that blizzard you're talking about. He's sort of throwing it out a little more. Because I think he, he realizes that he needs it, not necessarily to catch DJ, but simply restrict the options that he's able to use. Yeah, and so this was kind of, ooh. Oh! Yeah, that's oh, it. Oh, I thought he was going to drop it. <laughs> and that's kind of, that was good DI, though. But he kind of, I think he anticipated the good DI and went way out there for the so, grab. So, okay. <laughs> I'll tell you what that was, is he just played Cody, and every time he went for that re-grab, the Nana down air re-grab, Cody SDI'd away. Oh, of course he did. And so he's That's already Cody. conditioned to account for the SDI away. <laughs> poor DJ. So poor DJ doesn't know this. <laughs> he actually needs to SDI in. So uh, props to you. That was a really good call of, of talking about the Blizzard, because that literally just set up a kill. Um, interesting that this stock, he is not opting to do I, it. Because wow. it's not actually safe control in neutral. Like, it just demands that the that the Fox change their style. Mm -hmm. Like, changes the options that, like, the mindset they're in a little bit. Yeah. And Diz knows that he can't keep doing that. Yeah. And so I think he, he makes the smart play to switch off of it like, right when the other person is getting in the mindset of dealing with it. Yeah, I love that last grab yeah. that he got. Because um, he went back and it looked like he was about to set up. Exactly. And, and DJ was like, Okay. Ready for the setup. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna come after you, and he just literally just grabs him. Yeah. Oh yeah. So he's so good at that. Yeah. He's so conscious. All right, that's two so two. So conscious, yo. <laughs> yeah, that's just what that's just gonna be his tag now. Yes, conscious. So conscious, just get boogie. <laughs> C O N C. <laughs> Blind Diz. Oh, so conscious. 
So they're, All right, they look like they're having a good time, too. I like that. So DJ picks this. I think this is honestly one of Ice Climber's uh, better picks. Uh, DJ was using the space more effectively than Diz, in my opinion. Um, so maybe something like Dreamland would have been um, wise. I mean, Although maybe, I know Diz likes like Stadium, so DJ's probably avoiding that. I think D, uh, DJ's sort of relying on these low platforms to... Messing up with the... Sort sink. of screw him up a little bit. Right. Wow, that was wow. a smart up smash. Yep. DJ looks over to Diz and Diz <laughs> laughs. Um, these players are good. <laughs> These oh, are some good they're, players. They're all right. They're, 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 they're good. Right. You know, they're, they're just the winners' great. finals in uh, <laughs> Houston Beat Town. You know. Oh. oh, oh my God! How did he land that? Yeah, that that looked like it was <laughs> uh, a safe jump, but he wasn't even on that platform. He just like got there. Did he get a speed jab and just rock. That? No, he just he grabbed just, him. Just grabbed him. He just grabbed him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nana! Not the time. Not the time, Nana. Not the time, Nana. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta be a little more conscious. Yeah, oh, <laughs> right, never mind. I remember why this isn't great for Ice. It's because of that top platform. Because of how, like, just brutal it is in this matchup oh. with the low platforms. He could get out of this. No, nope. it's he too can. late now. Because, uh, again, Cody is exceptional at mashing out of grabs. So, Diz knows. Diz doesn't, he, he knows how to get the timing. Because there is, like, a timing where you can, uh, you know, hit the pummels at, like, the spacing so that the pummel, so that the mashing is, like, more difficult. You know, the, the window is narrower. Uh-huh. And, uh, he's pretty, he's pretty practiced with that. What is, how's, all right, so this is doing a good job. He really just, like, kind of lucked out and got two grabs. Because that was literally a zero-to-death wobble. Oh, yeah. Um, so that was really good. Uh... I guess he's just he's comfortable throwing out those up airs if he's on the top platform. This counter pick's not looking good for, for right, DJ. Right, not so far. And DJ, I think DJ's so apparently playing scared. I feel like Diz can capitalize, like use this opportunity, nice. like right here. Yeah, he like that get up attack. Oh. Frankly, was really obvious. That fountain, yikes! That platform, that <laughs> that could cost him Ooh. a lot. That was a weird little exchange. Nice. Ooh. That was cool. That was very good by, D that by was DJ. That really cool. Very good by DJ to find that opportunity. One. These guys are having fun. They Game are five, having, they don't this care. This is great. I like when they care. Like when they when they care, but they're still having fun, yeah. you know? Yeah. Oh. Wow. IBDW versus JMOOC. I'm, I'm expecting that's the I know, right? Semis? I'm surprised that's not on, or that's on the other stream. That's is on what the other it stream. Is. Oh, man. I wanted to commentate that. Whatever. Whatever. It's exciting stuff. It is. Arguably the top four players in the venue. Yeah, definitely. Oh, totally. I don't know who, who you could say is better than those four, but I kind of wish I got to play uh, J Mook today, but too bad. Woo! That was very risky by DJ going off stage. At first, I was like, I understand you're trying to get out of the re-grab, but yep. at the same time, like, Diz's edge guarding is actually quite exceptional. And that's just that chaotic nature of DJ. You just, you know. That's true. Like that's like his he thing. He literally yeah, just like, walked down and, and, and back it, you know. Yeah. And he's not gonna do that again. <laughs> it's sort of like he's, like, you know, it's sort of like baseball as a pitcher. You want to give him oh, different pitches yeah. every time, you know. He's a really right. cool mentality about that. So I think this stock definitely looks like it's momentum-wise very in Diz's favor so far. Oh, yeah. Like DJ's already run into quite a few things that I, he wasn't running into earlier. Wow, great tomahawk. I feel like he's overextending a little bit. Um, but it, like, because it's weird. It's hard. It's hard to tell when you're overextending and when you're just doing what you're supposed to. Because you have to be aggressive. You have to like take things where you can get them in Ooh. this matchup. He needs to take this now. Nope. Oh well, Diz there you go. Care. Wow, what a good set. Yeah, that was that was really awesome by these two players. They uh, definitely. Good job.